What is up everybody, Yellow Dot here, and today I will teach you how to make a Japanese Bandai Namco account, launch the Bandai Namco launcher, get that going, get the VPN, everything you basically need to get your account set up in preparation for Blue Protocol. Now first of all, we will need to get Soft Eaters download, uh, which is a free VPN basically, which will allow us to connect to the Japanese um, VPN and just go from there basically. So you make sure you still have these options selected, I select them in advance, uh, so you can simply copy it. And the link to everything that you will need will be in the description as well, so make sure to check those out. So then we downloaded the VPN and we got it installed and everything, which is all quite easy. After that, you simply go to the VPN, which I have set up right here. The VPN client manager, you go to the public relay server, simply double click that. So you can either sort by region, uptime. Generally, I like to sort it by uptime. So what you want to go for is, you know, something that hasn't been up for too long. And then get like um, the Japanese one, of course. So, you, you know have a proper um, connection and uh, you also want to make sure the VPN sessions aren't too high just for you know like this one as example 8 sessions 294 2 days seems pretty good connect to it agree to the terms simply like that and then your IP is assigned boom that's all you're connected to Japanese uh, VPN now and just in case what I always do is you google what is my IP address.com Simply click this link, uh, this will confirm whether or not you're in Japan, and as you can see, Tokyo, Japan, boom, perfect. Alright, now for the next step is creating the Bandai Namco ID. We go right here, we just type our email address, we'll make an example right here, and a little password, boom, just like that, click next. Uh, yep, yep, Asia, Japan, date of birth, uh, nine, uh, let's just do something random. Alright. This is all, whatever, it's all the terms and the policies, as you can see. Uh, keep me logged in, that's up to you. Uh, you definitely have to click agree to the above. Uh, I will take this off because I have a main account. Boom. And then you get an authentication code which is going to be sent to your email simply go to your gmail right here or email get your authentication code copy and paste that boom authenticate all right you get all of this the ad targeting analytics and all that um processing of personal information i mean because it's my alt it doesn't matter it's up to you you know, you get like emails and stuff, but you know, I kind of like the analytics at least, I guess. I believe that's like, yeah, collected information to the service, sure. The ad targeting is, nah. Okay, I clicked it, accept all, whatever. <laughs> Your abandoned and good ID has been created. You need to create a customer ID. Uh, if you lose it, so please take a screenshot of it. Alright, email for Blue Protocol. Do you want them? Yes, 100%. Boom. To service. Additional registration completed. That being said, we're done with that. Alright, you know what that means? We're going to download the Bandai Namco launcher. Now, as you know, I'm still connected to the VPN and I will download it with the VPN on. It's very important that you do this with the VPN on because they log your IP. Um, that's why I am showing this process as well. Because you have to turn off a certain setting, otherwise uh, they will be like, um, they will be like, well, good. That's good and all, but you kind of need. Um, they're gonna ask you to if you want to launch it on startup, basically. What? My brain kind of went off there. So you're just gonna be downloading it real quick and installing, as you can see quite fast. I had to uninstall the Bandai Namco launcher for this because I already had it so I just um, did that real quick. Go to second to set up. So if you're really confused to how this works still um, you can always 
you know, post something in the comments if you have any questions. I'm willing to answer them. If I can help, I'll help. Um, if you need another way of translation for the Japanese text, you can simply go to Yandex Image, Image Translate, which I always have opened on the site when I do stuff like this, just in case. Um, basically allows you to take a screenshot, like let's say this is example, you could, you know, be like print screen, uh, like this. Boom. Wondering what it says, copy it right here. Hopefully it auto picks it up. Oh, it was it too late? Okay, no, it was not. It says Chinese, so you probably have to change it to Japanese. Then usually, see, Panayana has been updated. Please wait a while. Simply like that. All right. Now I believe it's gonna ask us to log in soon. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, I think it's already logged in because I had a previous account. So I don't have to do any of the previous things. So basically, um, I can't really show this because I apparently had it installed before and it automatically skips everything regarding that, like the startup which I had already turned off. Um, but there, I have this screenshot here. Basically, it will ask you to select an installation location. Um, and you can see right here, run when computer starts or add to start menu. Basically, probably turn these two off. I create a desktop, you know, shortcut, which is fine. And then just run the install button right there. And then you should be good to go. Now, if you saw this too late and you've already um, accidentally, you know, have it automatically run when your computer starts, let me quickly open the Discord right here. You can also turn it off uh, in the launcher, as you can see, right here in the settings, this top setting right here. This is um, auto launch startup. You can click this right here and it will turn it off. So, if you need any of that, you can just find it right there. Um, courtesy for the information for the Blue Protocol database Discord. Make sure you guys join that. I will post a link to that down below as well. With that being said, it's this that simple. Then we are logged in and ready to go. Basically, it will simply kind of look like this. Kind of look empty, you know, because Blue Protocol wasn't out yet. So, we kind of just wait um, until that happens. As you can see right here is the setting to turn it off just in case you need it. And that being said, that is all for this video. Hope Blue Protocol releases soon and I hope to see you all in game. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe if it was any helpful. You can check out my Twitch as well, twitch.tv slash yellow. I plan to stream a lot of Blue Protocol content and make videos when it releases. That being said, I will see you next time. Goodbye.